Okay, I'm going to show you how to make a very simple washcloth. For this washcloth, you are supposed to use 100% cotton, but I'm just using Red Heart. And um, because the cotton I have is really dark, and you cannot see it on the camera, so I just decided to do some regular stuff that's light, and you can see a bit better. Um, all you have to do is chain as many as you want for the length of your washcloth. You can make it small, big, it doesn't matter. Um, if you do not know how to do chains, I will put a link in the description box for you. And um, all you have to do is basically one stitch the whole way through. So you can either do um, half double or a single. I like the half double. So what you're going to do is in go into the second stitch from the hook and you're going to do a half double. And yes, it is difficult to usually get into the first stitch because you don't have anything to hold on to. So all you're going to do is do that and you're going to do it all the way to the end of your chain. And then after you do that, you'll chain up one and then Okay, I'm at the end of my, the first row, and, um, I forgot to mention that for this you can use any size hook you want. I'm using a H hook right now, but for the one I showed in the beginning of the video, I use a 5.5. So, after you crochet your last stitch in the first row, you are going to... Just chain one like you you would normally. There's nothing special. It's just a normal chain. And then what you do is you flip your work like so. And then all you do, all you have to do is um, half double on each stitch. But um, some people they prefer to skip the first one and then go into the second one. But since there's only half double and I'm not chaining up two, I just go ahead and go into the first one because I feel it it looks better. Um, then all you have to do is half double all the way down this row and you, you just keep doing that until you have as many rows as you want. Um, I went ahead and started a second one with the blue. That's why I didn't use the blue because I already had like half a washcloth done. I'm going to finish this one and then I'm going to show you how to finish off and I'm going to show you how to put um, a white border or any kind of border you want around it. Okay, I'm at the end of my cloth now and um, to finish off all you have to do is chain one and then get a decent length about three inches I would say. Just cut the cut your yarn there and then you're just going to pull it through and then give it a little tug and it'll just be hanging there and then if you want to add your white or your border of any color um, just add your yarn anywhere so stick your hook through a stitch grab your yarn pull it through chain one and then I usually tie mine uh, blue's getting away I just tie it once to keep it there so it doesn't come undone and then in the same stitch I will do a half double and then you do that all the way until you get to the corner because in the corner we are going to place three so right here we're going to do three one two
And I'm just um, crocheting over my ends. So I'm going to go ahead and finish the rest of the border and then I will show you how to finish up the border when you come back around to where you started. Okay, I'm at the end, or the back to the start, of where I started my border. Now, I know on um, some of the sides, the stitches are kind of jumbled because um, we're going back and forth and they're not even, like, just doing single um, chains. So, all you have to do is just try to find a hole and make it, the stitches as even as possible. I mean, you're not going to really notice. And to finish off, all you're going to do is a slip stitch. Um, you can see where there, you can see the two loops right there and that's where you're going to do it. You're going to stick it under both loops. You're going to grab your yarn, pull through, and then pull through again. And then you're going to do one chain, get a decent length of yarn, and just cut off. You're going to pull it through, give it a little tug, and then you can just use a tapestry needle or just a large sewing needle to weave in your ends. And that's all it is, just weave your ends in back and forth along with the white since it is white yarn or any color border yarn you have and then that's all you have to do.